So hello everyone, I'm Shwar Kumar Singh and in this video we are going to see a recent project which is based on speaker diarization rization and speaker identification. What it basically does is that it helps in audio forensic related tasks when we have to match a suspect voice from any call recording or or any proof that we have gotten and we want to extract the suspect voice from that part that includes the speaker diarization rization part here and then we want to identify the voice if the, if it matches with the sample voice recorded in the lab or not so for that we use this part speaker identification here so we begin with installing this github library python library it is a whisper x model which is built on top of whisper x whisper open ai model it is developed by mbain here you can see and it has some pre-trained model for audio transcription at word level and with timestamps it it can just attach the timestamp like start and end timestamp of any word spoken during that voice and you can see full documentation about it here and basically if you want to set up in your local system you can set up by creating python environment and installing the required de dependencies like pytorch but here we are going to basically set up all these things on the google colab jupyter notebook it provides a good ram and disk space and it's good for machine learning tasks so we are using here this one just we have to do is what install pip install whisper x dot git with this url here and after that you can also check this up pip install upgrade pi and out audio pi and out audio is also another uh, deep learning model basically we will see about it later but we don't need to upgrade it because it uses the previous version of this pi and out audio so now we start with importing whisper x and import gc what is gc gc is for basically resolving all the memory bugs or spaces or debugs now we pass these parameters basically what we are going to use here my system has only cpu and it does not has any gpu or in this also system resources it has only cpu so i'm going to select device as cpu you can change this to deep gpu if you have the nvidia gpu and you can just reduce the amount of stress you are going giving on to the computer with this float 32 basically if you want more good accuracy you can use float 16 and just passing out these loading the audio file here just importing the audio file from your local directory like this and you can check if this path is here or not by using this code i'll provide this code in the youtube video description you can check it out there and you just import the whisper x model the large v2 version it is about 3.09 gb of of data basically it is that that model size and you just get the audio with this command load the audio file here and what we are going to here do is that we first transcribe the audio file basically what is spoken in that audio file and we can then segment it later on like you can see after running this code i can get this whole lot of things here which is the text converted from the audio file and it also include the start and in stamps here as you can see now you can print out the result separately to see more clearly and after that what we are going to do is word level transcription word level transcription with timestamps and you can see at what time a certain word is started and ended that's really great i guess so and you can then print out the result and after that thing you can just simply do diarizing of that audio 
and you can basically do it at the starting but it's better to see how these things works so you can just load the whisper extraterrorization pipeline using the hugging face token authentication token you can generate your own here and it downloads the model here again the pytorch model basically what it does it just diarize in simple word if you want to know about what is diarization, it it is basically the splitting of the audio transcription in terms of speakers like there is a transcripted version of the text and you are just going to determine which word is spoken by which speaker or which sentence is spoken by which speaker so what i do here is just provide this parameters basically it is hel it is helpful for accurate diarizing diarizing the audio module audio file basically so i provided the minimum speaker that is there and also the maximum speaker is also two so in this in my audio file there are two speakers conversation happening and you can just provide out these parameters to basically get the good kind of output results so as you can see this diarizationization segment just converts that uh, thing into this uh, stamps timestamps and with sentences speak by the speaker with sequentially as you can see the starting is done by the speaker one and then zero then speaker one zero like this and i should tell you that this is 100 percent accurate i have checked it out and it clearly does thing that you expect it to do it basically identifies the different speaker and speaking at every different timestamps and it does it pretty good even with this kind of data it does it quickly and you can just check out how many speakers are there as we have already provided speaker 0 and 1 so we don't need to know here but you can if don't if you haven't provided this you can just know it by checking out this command now what we are going to do is that we are just having the data like the speaker one speaks at start this point and ends at this point so we are just going to select all these speaker one start and end audio segments and we can just cut out it and split it and we can merge all the start and end part of that speaker one into one audio file and the other into that speaker zero audio file we can just split both the speaker audio file separately and then just take out the main audio file that we are required in comparison with the other lab sample audio file so we just use this pip install pydub library basically python library to perform basic operations on audio file and we just take out these unique speakers and iterate over it there are two for loops and it's just a simple for loop command and you can see it just it does save the two audio files separately based on two different speakers here in the wave format and you can see here in my audio di file directory that there is the conversation wave audio file that I have imported earlier and it just transcribes it and attach this timestamp segmentation and then the speaker who is speaking and then running this code here generates these two speaker audio files separately. So what we done in the first step is that we derive the speaker audio file and then we are going to identify with this any one of this with the lab sample recorded audio file so this one is basically for seeing graphical representation of your audio file basically it extracts the feature of the spectrography and all these things and you can just see the result of it on your computer screen but we don't require it here so you can ignore this code so we start with this pip installation of pyanote audio and torch audio file basically these are helpful for loading this speech and come embedding this with the audio file what i'm going to tell you what it does basically first we install these dependencies and then we can use the torch audio library and then pi and note for speaker verification and sci-fi for cosine distance calculation so the pi and note uses the speech brain github research project 
it is a speech brain it basically used for speaker recognition speech to text and speaker recognition this uh, this has some pre-built trained models pre-trained models which we can use to embed it in our it basically embeds the audio file of ours and it extracts the feature from it the speech brain provides the uh, basically the pre-trained model and we have and this model has been used by pi and or to basically do speech recognition and you can check out it here like this so first we start with loading the audio file then extract the embedding what embedding means is here extracting the audio file features like mftc and pitch basically natural pitch and all that you have to keep in mind that the audio and the sample rate of the audio that you are loading here we are comparing and identifying if the speakers are same or not so we are providing the two audio files here so basically when we provide the two audio files it should um, have the same sample rate and uh, the embedding model that we are importing here is that speech brain voxel lab voxel box lab model and what it it does it, it does embedding and then we compare the embedding and then how we can compare the embedding is basically compute the cosine similarity and it can be done by via using this scipy space spatial dot distance library using this cdist and it basically returns the similarity uh two dimensional vector that contains only one element and that one is c zero at zero row and zero column and you can just return it and the main function here loads the audio file and compares if the sample rate are same or not and then it can just uh, attach it to the variable name with suspect embedding and other embedding and similarities you can get it from here which passes by here and then you can fix up some threshold like at this point if it's above it's matched or at, if at this point it is below it is not matched and you can check out using this simple if else statement and then just print out the results so here i was comparing the audio file with a person audio file of different voice and it clearly successfully predicted the voice that it doesn't match with that voice because that voice was off from different person and it predicted with this accuracy basically the 67.26 percent mean that the voice percentage match was 67.26 percent and it was less than this 80 percent uh, threshold value which is which basically doesn't apply here so the voice was not matched and what here we are doing is that come converting the float similarity and uh, normalized data into that uh, percentage value with up to two decimal points of accuracy you can increase it further and if you want to do it so this was my recent project on speech recognition using the machine learning and deep learning models pre-trained models and i have prepared a project report on this with a very good description and illustration step by step method what i have done here you can see this uh, about every module that i have used and basically how does it works and step by step code implementation of it and with the explanation also if you want this file you would please comment into the comment section of the video and i would happy to be helping you guys so it is written by me so if anybody wants this code this description you can just comment out and i will do it so this was my project and thank you for sticking to the end of this video thank you very much i hope you like this project check it out by yourself and construct more advanced features and things you want to implement on top of it i would be happy happy to see that thing okay thank you